what's up welcome back to my channel i know i look crazy right now i literally just got out of the shower um and i decided to just do a you know get ready with me um i have to be at work at 11 i don't know what time it is right now i think it's 10 o'clock but but i thought i'd show you guys how i get ready um show you guys you know my quick makeup every day because I started doing this like everyday makeup thing that's just super quick just to you know make my face look alive and stuff like that so I thought I'd share it with you guys so I'm just gonna be getting ready telling you you know what I do what I use stuff like that so right now I just got out of the shower <clears throat> my hair is all gross and tangly I didn't shampoo it I didn't condition it but I'm gonna put this bio silk spray that I got from Marshall's it's hydrating therapy moisture spray so if i don't wash my hair i just spray this in my hair just a little bit it's kind of a lot but whatever so i just spray that in my hair and then i run my fingers through it and then i just let it sit for a little bit so that way like <clears throat> my hair can get all entangled and stuff like that so while I wait for that, I'm going to put lotion on my face so my face isn't dry all day. I just use Baby Johnson's lotion only on my face because I was using it on my on my arms and my my um my legs, but it's not very moisturizing for an adult. <laughs> Probably for a baby, yes, which is why I only use it on my face. Cause I don't like for my face to be very oily, but I still want some moisture so that way my skin isn't dry. And I rub the lotion in hard right here because that's where I get super dry and it gets all flaky and gross. I just put the lotion on. I get a little. I got a little red now. So when I put the makeup on, I usually focus it like right here on my chin and under my eyes and right here on my forehead. Um, I don't really put foundation all over my face. I just literally put it like here here and here and under my eyes and then I just blend it out and then I eventually you know just tap it all over my face I'm just gonna brush my hair out after I put that bile silk it's pretty easy to brush my hair through after I put that in it's like if I'm putting conditioner in my hair so it doesn't really pull my hair so that's what I like the only thing with this is that if you spray it don't spray too much because then if you want your hair to be too dry afterwards It'll dry, but then it's going to be oily because you put too much. So I put a lot because I'm just going to put my hair up. I don't really care. But if I was going to wear my hair down, then I would just spray a little bit. Or I probably wouldn't even put that in my hair. I'd probably just shampoo it. Okay. So then I just brush my hair and then I just like tease it. I guess that's what you want to call it. Tease it out just so it's not flat. Um, I'll fix my hair after I do my makeup. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this on. This came with a bunch of face masks that my sister got me for Christmas. I'm gonna put, wait, 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 stretch. I got a big ass head, whatever. Okay, so there's that, got it on. Is this enough lighting? Let me see, let me plug in this other light that I have. Okay, so the first thing that I do, moisturize my face. Then I grab my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. This is in the color Natural Tan. Now this is not my color, this is too light. But I use it anyways because the powder that I'm gonna use has color in it. So it doesn't really matter that I put a light foundation down, but I kind of just use this as a concealer. Cause like I said, I don't put foundation all over my face. Cause then it just makes me feel like it makes my face feel heavy and stuff like that. Anyways, so I just put a little bit on my finger like this. And then I just put it on the spots that, you know, I want to try to cover, which is where I see most of my blemishes. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I get dark up here on top of my lip. So I try to cover that up. Um, I'm going to put some right here because I have a little breakout right there. Now... If y'all want to judge me and say that that's not how you're supposed to do makeup, go right ahead because this is what I like to do. And if you don't like it, then that's your problem. Then I put some right here on my forehead, just like that. And that's it. 
I'm just going to my hands on my shirt because I'm not going to wear this shirt. Then I grabbed my little beauty blender. It's dirty. I haven't cleaned it, but I don't care. It's my face. So I grab it and then I just start blending all this away. Let me get a mirror so I can see. blending everything and when I go my under eyes I get it and then I bring it up over my eyelid and then I just drag it back like towards my hairline just so it looks like like it's not like a cut off it looks like I have foundation on my face but I really don't so I'm just gonna blend this out and then we'll move on after Okay, so once I put that foundation on, I go ahead and I grab, I do two different powders, I don't know why, I just do, I have the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, I put a little bit of that with this Morphe M527 brush. Now, I don't really have brushes for like everything, so I use this for my powder brush, and I also use this for my blush brush, which is okay, nothing wrong with that, so I just get a little bit of powder. I just dust my face really quick. I don't want to put too much because I'm still going to put the color powder over. And then if I just leave my face like this, then I look really, really pale. So then after that, I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me in 30 Medium Deep. This one has a little bit of tint in it. That's why it's okay that I use the lighter foundation. Because like I said, this has color. I just dab a little bit on the brush. Same brush, the Morphe M527. And then I just lightly dust it on my face and it gives me a little bit of color I try not to like focus it too much like in the t-zone because that's where I get really really like dry and then it'll start flaking so I just put it all over like that under my nose over my lip on my nose over my eyelids so they don't look oily and then that's what my skin looks like after the foundation and after the powder. I could probably put a little bit more, but I'm looking in this mirror and it looks like it matches. It might not look like that here, but it does there. Okay, after that, I'm gonna head and just, I just do this, I don't know, just to like get the foundation powder off. After that, I go in with the blush. I have this Chanel blush in Rogue Parfum 320. I've had this forever. I used to be obsessed with Chanel makeup and that's all I would buy and then I realized I was spending all my money so I stopped <clears throat> but I have this it's lasted me for a while so I just get a little bit on a brush not too much and then I just put it right here I don't like too much blush but I do want to look like a little a little pink like and eventually like if I put too much I'll just go back over it with that HD powder and then it'll get it away get some of the color away So I feel like this side's a little bit more red than this side. <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab this HD powder again, dust off my brush a little bit, and then just go over like that. A little bit, just so it gets rid of some of the red. It's not too red. Okay. I don't know, maybe some of y'all think what's the point of blush anyways, but I'm just gonna cover it, but that's how I like to do it. Okay, then I grab my highlighter. This is by Ofra and Rodeo Drive. I use the same Morphe brush that I use for my powder and my blush. And I just get a little bit. I put this up here, kind of towards the corner of my eye. Just to get, you know, a little bit of glow. You can't really see it. Oh, well, I guess kind of. I don't like too much because I don't want to look shiny. But I guess that's the point, right? Bring it over my eyelid. And that's how I do that. Okay, so after that, I grab my Wet n Wild little palette. Or do I want to use this one? I don't really do too much eyeshadow. I just try to put like a very light color all over my lid just so it doesn't look, you know, kind of pale. But my eyeshadows in this Wet n Wild palette that I use broke, so I'm kind of limited. So let's see what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take this Morphe M167 brush and I'm going to go into this white color 
this is called, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm just going to go in this light color, I'm going to put it all over my lid, just to give it a base so I can put some color over it, I'm not going to put too much because I'm not trying to do a whole look because, I don't know, I just, I'm not about wearing like a whole face of makeup anymore, I don't, I guess is this a full face of makeup to you guys, I don't know. Okay, so I went ahead, put a little bit of white. Then I'm gonna grab my Morphe M532. <clears throat> I'm gonna use, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna go in and use this color. I don't know what the name is. It doesn't have the names on it, but it's just this like orangey brown. Very, very little. I'm not gonna use too much. And then I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. Like I'm not even gonna put it in the crease. I'm just gonna put it all over. Just to give it some color. Can't really see it, but that's what I like. <laughs> I like that, you know, it's there, but it's not there. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, and if you're annoyed by that noise, I'm sorry. I don't know. It just goes on and on. I can't turn it off. And it just gets on my nerves, so. Ah, oh, I got my eye. Okay, so I went ahead and put very little of that color. Now, if I, I do put too much, I go ahead back into the HD powder. I dip this brush and brush a little bit on, but I feel like this looks okay. At least to me, it does. <laughs> Just blend it out a little bit more so I don't look like a freak. Yeah, I guess. Does it look like there's something there? <laughs> okay. So after that, I grab my eyebrow, my little eyebrow spoolie brush thing but I just brush my eyebrows too because I'm putting powder and stuff over so it just makes my eyebrows look a little dusty so I just brush them through get all that powder out and then I'm gonna do my lashes so first when I do my lashes I get my curler I curl my eyelashes now my eyelashes are like destroyed I don't know why my eyelashes fall out so easily so if anybody knows of any like lash serums to help your lashes grow please let me know because a girl needs help maybe I curl my eyelashes too much but when I was in school um, they were doing a lot of lash extensions on me but I was in school like two years ago and my eyelashes are still trashed from that okay so I grow my lashes and then I get this L'Oreal Paris Double Extended. I use the white side, which is the primer. <clears throat> I prime my lashes first. Put on. We'll brush, brush, brush. Two, three. I don't even know what time it is. I have to be at work at 11. Okay, so I prime my lashes with this white primer. And then I let it sit for a little bit, you know, just to get dry. A little bit tacky, not too dry. And then I'm going to go over with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. This one's okay. I just got it because I needed one and it was the first one I saw. And it wasn't expensive. So that's why I got this one. Okay, so after I put the lash primer on, I let it sit for a little bit. Then I go in with the mascara. Over, I kind of go on top a little bit too. I try not to get it on my eyelid because then I have to take it off with the q tip and then I gotta go over it again. So I usually do a layer wait a little bit let it get a little tacky and do another layer so that way it can get like a little bit of fullness on there so i'm gonna wait a little bit but we're in a rush so i gotta, I gotta fan it a little bit oh and i got it on my freaking eyelid great i'll show you how i get it off and what i do after that and then you get you know some volume like that with without so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then i'll be back okay i'm about to finish up the second eye i just i'm ready to put the second coat on 
do that real quick and i have to hurry up here because it's already 10 12 and i live like 30 minutes away from work and i have to be at work at 11. so i did that and i'm gonna grab a q-tip because i got mascara on my eye and i don't know if this is sanitary but i just put the q-tip in my mouth and then i go over and then get the makeup off now this is gonna rub off the the eyeshadow but that's okay we're gonna let the lashes dry and then we're gonna go over with just a blending brush and blend it back together or do something at least that's what i do i just blend it back together my eyelashes are all jacked up today i don't know what the hell is going on but look at that yeah <laughs> this one looks better than this one but i don't care i got time to to try to fix it let me go over it with this with this spoolie this spoolie is not good either but yeah, i just separate the lashes with this if they get too stuck together <sighs> whatever okay last thing i do i'm gonna get this Too faced lip injection this stuff works if y'all never had this before. I just put a little bit. Let my lips get a little plump. And then, after that, I go over it with some chapstick, which I do not have in here, so I'm just not gonna do that. And that is pretty much it. That is pretty much how I do my makeup every day. I'm gonna do my hair really quick. I think I'm just gonna do a part to brush it over because I don't got time. So, we're just gonna go like this. I'm gonna brush this over that way. You guys have no idea, I hate doing my hair. Like, I honestly really do. If I could just wear my hair up every single day, I would. But I don't even want to have to put my hair up every single day. So, Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put it in a bun, brush it back, put it in a bun, and I can put it in a bun. And I can put it in a bun. Oh my god, hopefully you guys don't see my butt because I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> so I brush it, brush it. I have super thick hair, so it takes me forever to get my hair in a bun or in any sort of way. Put it in a ponytail first. I have super thick hair, like I said, so I have to do sometimes three hair ties. Today I'm only gonna do two, cause that's all I can find. <laughs> then I twist it, twirl it, twirl it, twirl it, twirl it, and then I secure the package. And there's my bun. And my back is all wet. <laughs> Then I brush this a little bit down just so it's not, you know, like, do that. Then I always put my hoops. I need the hoops to look alive. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoop. I'm not a hoe, but it's funny. Oh, I'm gonna go back over with this brush, actually, because I took off the thing, so I'm just gonna brush it over. I need a mirror. You know what? This doesn't look too bad. I'm not gonna lie. It came out pretty good today. <laughs> so yeah. And that's pretty much it. My lips are getting plump, they're a little red. But that's pretty much all I do for my everyday makeup. I try to do this really fast, I'm so sorry, but I have to go. I have to find something where to work because I need to leave. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.